Um, talking about the Tennessee Titans and the Seattle Seahawks, Ryan Tannehill, Russell Wilson, um, really two loaded offenses, but I think this one's really going to come down to coaching, but who wins this one and why? I mean, I'm actually going to take Tennessee in this game, mm. although Seattle did have a really good rush defense last season. Yeah. Seattle is very inconsistent, especially in the beginning of the season, even though Russ will put up numbers. They normally have aren't one of, of the last games. undefeated teams. They'll come out, they'll play really good one week, play really bad the next week. Like, this could be one of those games where Seattle gets down by a lot early and Russ walks them down and ultimately they just run the clock out on them before he's able to get them all the way back in the game. So, I mean, this is something that we often see out of Seattle. It's really almost, it's very difficult to even explain why this happens. There's like last season, I believe the the reason why they were one of the top rated rushing defenses in the league, they were what? They were fifth in the league in rushing last year. But that doesn't always tell the story. They were fifth in the league in rushing because their pass defense was so bad. Yeah. People just threw the ball on them. They yep. didn't have to run. Yep. It didn't mean they could stop the run. They just you didn't have to. Right. So I mean, even look at it now. Like that's why I always scoff at people trying to give me the defensive rankings based off of total defense, passing, or rushing yards. Give me like how many points are you giving up? Yeah, to me, that's what matters. How, are you giving up thirty a game, or are you giving up twenty one with four hundred passing yards? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like what right now the top two rushing defenses in the league, just off the top of my head, I would say have to be what probably the uh, the Bucks and the Cowboys because neither team ran. Yeah. Like neither team <laughs> ran the ball at all. Yeah, what less than less than thirty attempts combined for both teams? I want to say. Yeah, like it was sad. I didn't. I think they had like right at thirty. Right. Yeah. But like for the the whole game, so like I know both of those guys, their their team stats are going to be through the roof. Right. Like I'm, I'm actually going to fact check that because I really do want to know. Uh -huh. I guarantee you, those two are right at the top. Yeah. All right, man. We'll see. We'll see what happens there. So oddly enough, not even oddly enough, I'm going to take the Seahawks here. The Seahawks defensive line really impressed me with the way that they were able to get to Carson Wentz and not because it's Carson Wentz, because it's that uh, Colts offensive line. You've got, I mean, you know, like we've talked about it, they're up there with the Browns, they're up there with the Chiefs, they're up there with the Bucks. We know what the Colts offensive line is. And I think when we're arguing the best offensive line in the league, the Colts get mentioned at number one more than any other team out there. And when you talk about a weak factor of Seattle when you're searching with Jadavian Clowney, you know, you bring in a Carlos Hyde, or uh, not a Carlos Hyde, a Carlos Dunlap, and you're trying to get some effective guys in there. I think week one, yes, again, let's keep it in context. We got week one on the show here, but they still did get that pressure on a good line. So so I got to give them credit. And with the uh, Titans O-line, I know they're going through a little issues there. Um, and we saw Chandler Jones absolutely emerge. So with the way the Seahawks played last week, I think we're looking at coaching. I think we're looking at defensive line because the offenses are going to probably go tit for tat. But if we're talking about what's really going to knock it off pressure, I'm going to give the uh, the W to Seattle there. I could see about a 28-21 victory. It'll be a comparable game, but Seattle should be able to win this one um, comfortably.